If Bitcoin pumps towards $75,000, not one, not two, but four billion US dollars will be liquidated. Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we will be talking about the probabilities of this happening. So make sure you are watching. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Samuel from Crypto Paradise and this is for a first time in six months that the long positions exceed the short positions. On the previous flush which resulted in around 10% drop, the funding rates dropped significantly. As you can see on some exchanges like Bybit or Bitmax and OKX as well, the funding rates are finally at neutral level. So this is good sign for who? for bulls and if you take a look at the bitcoin sentiment right now you can see how people are extremely fearful right at these levels even though bitcoin price is still in an uptrend on social media you already see that some of the wannabe crypto traders are calling for some extreme bearish prices i have even seen somebody calling for twenty thousand dollars revisit of twenty thousand dollars at these prices is not something what you should be expecting at the moment but this is how extreme these predictions are at the current levels where bitcoin dumped only for around 10 percent from the local high right at this level right here and as you know if you are in our free telegram channel this is exactly what we have been expecting since 11th of march right if you have been reading our analysis we said that because of the sentiment few days ago we do expect like 15 to 30 percent drops even downward rakes as this is not only something would have been happening in the past while at a previous all-time high in 2020 but also it's something healthy for the bullish crypto market that we actually flash down these over leverage long positions and that's exactly what happened as you can see we have been expecting weeks like this to the downside and this is exactly what we are getting right now and people are extremely scared at these levels they are panic selling with out some confirmation that the trend is not valid anymore so let's go to the weekly and let's understand what we are looking at right now as you can see the weekly candle from a previous week closed below our fibonacci retracement 1.618 which is definitely not bullish so there is some space for being a little bit cautious also because we are in a c wave from a elliott wave theory as you know a b c this was a zigzag so this is just a part of the c wave and right now we are about to have a d wave is it going to be from this level towards fifty eight thousand dollars or can we go higher to this level at eighty thousand or even this level ninety three thousand before some correction which will be basically the d wave from the five impulsive moves to the upside right so it ends with an e wave that is the fifth wave from the elliott wave theory but before that happens the c wave can be bigger all right and from the sentiment point of view and also from the on-chain point of view there is no strong reasoning that the d wave will need to start from here from this level for a confirmation of that we will continue higher towards here $79,000 and even $93,000 we right now need to be watching for the weekly close which is closing in two days and for the bullish continuation confirmation we need this candle to close above $69,000 that will add up to the probabilities that the next level of higher time frame resistance we expect to be at $79,000 and if that's reclaimed we are going towards our last important level which we suspect that this is going to be the end of this medium time frame bullish movement at $93,000 as you already know from our previous video so the likelihood of the C wave ending here at $93,000 and then starting a d wave towards 69 which will also read as the previous all-time high is extremely high and the likelihood of starting the d wave from these levels 
from the higher time frame analysis is right now very low. Let's switch to our medium time frame on a daily candles. Basically, each candle represents one day trading activity. And as you can see, this is still completely normal. This is something what we have been expecting, right? From the previous local high right here, we have dropped for around 11%, which is absolutely normal. However, right now in around nine hours, we want to see this candle closing above our 1.618 Fibonacci retracement zone right here above this red line. And once that happens, we will successfully reclaim this resistance and flip it into a support. The likelihood of this happening that the daily candle right now will close above this level is very high just because we understand that we are on the right side, which is the side that the minority of people right now is. And most of the whales are on this side. So the whales, what they are, looking at right now is this juicy liquidity and the whales are part of exchanges and you know that once we start to liquidate these short positions the exchanges from the liquidations will make loads of money so why not to push the price just a little bit and then these levels will take care of the price going up itself because as you know once we start hitting some liquidation levels and right now we are talking about the short positions once that's liquidated it, it automatically opens a long position and pushes the price of Bitcoin to the upside. So whales are definitely looking at this and you can also see once we switch to a lower time frame, right now we are on a one hour time frame. That means each candle represents one hour daily activity. We are trading inside of this ascending channel and we have also just retested our 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level with this candle right here. So no not only we have retested this trend line right here, but also this support. As you can see, this is a textbook example of an ascending channel because we are creating higher highs and higher lows. Let's confirm that. Yes, this was the previous low and we have just made a higher low. So together with higher highs, which again, we can confirm we are creating higher highs. This is a clear bullish ascending channel and we have just retested the bottom of it. So the probabilities of pushing the price to the upside right now is very, very high. Let's add up to the probabilities, right? Let's take a look at MACD indicator. And what can we see right here? What can we see right here? We can see not only the MACD indicator crossing, having a bullish cross at the bottom right here, but we can also see an exaggerated bullish divergence. Why? Let me explain why. Because the MACD is basically having equal lows. However, the price made a lower low. This is a textbook exaggerated divergence. Let me share it with you. It is very, very bullish if the indicator is making equal low, but the price have made a lower low. There is something very fishy going on. This is not a real bearish pressure right here. And it adds up to the probabilities that this is the end of the correction and we are above to move to the upside. Again, it really right now is important that we are able to hold above this ascending trend line right here and that we don't close below this Fibonacci retracement zone. If we are about to start closing some candles below this support and also we create on a lower time frame some double top bearish formation, we will be selling aggressively with Paradise and VIPs and we will be looking at lower prices for Bitcoin at around $58,000. However, right now, as you see yourself, everything plays out for the bullish probabilities and there is nothing at the moment which would made us to start selling Bitcoin right here. So we do expect some pushback and continuation higher. There is no need before we start having some bearish confirmations to start selling or even shorting Bitcoin at this level. So be very careful. There might be some big outs right below the ascending trend line right here. However, the trend is still bullish.
average so don't start panic selling as i'm seeing loads of people to do at these levels also at the same time the dollar index is at resistance not only on a weekly resistance as you know it's been creating this head and shoulders pattern for some time right now which is a bearish pattern right and we are expecting lower targets from the dollar index and you know already if you are watching our videos that when the dollar index is bearish loads of other currencies are bullish and this is playing out extremely well for bitcoin when the dollar index is dumping the bitcoin price is pumping let me zoom into a lower time frame and you can see that the dollar index is right now at the lower time frame resistance as well right here it is not only a fibonacci retracement resistance but also past price action resistance as you can see this level is very important and it seems like this is just a bearish retest and we are continue lower so the dollar index is at resistance bitcoin is at support we have some other confirmations right now as well which tells us the probabilities are on a bull side right now so until we get some bearish confirmations there is absolutely nothing to be scared of ladies and gentlemen if you have watched until the end and enjoyed this video please smash the like button subscribe so you don't miss anything if you want to be trading safely like a professional make sure you are joining paradise ml vip if there are still some seats left you can check it out on mycryptoparadise.com website or even just join us at our free telegram channels again you will find all information on mycryptoparadise.com thank you cheers